What the heck is this? Orbital. Orbital, okay. okay. Level 41, doesn't look that bad. Let's get a T bolt here. Okay, looks like that didn't kill it, so we're gonna go with net ball here, because I'm assuming it's a bug. Looks like that caught it. Got the orbital here. Oh. Really good XP right there. Orbital. Bug and Psychic. Have we ever had a bug and psychic Pokemon before? Seven Spot Pokemon is famous for its high level intelligence and a large size of his brain. It's proved that it also possesses immense psychic power. Hmm. Interesting. Well, hello and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword video. Where today we are going to be continuing our exploration here in Route 9. Um, last time we unlocked the ability to surf, and I think we were right at this Pokeball here. <laughs> we got a protector. Um, you let it uh, ride on, hold it, and it will evolve into Rhyperior. And I ran into the freaking octopus Pokemon. So yeah, we'll try to finish out this route today and go into um, Spike Mooth, I think it was called. Uh, we're trying to run away from this Octo boy here. Level 50, so if we want to grind some XP, I know where to grind it here. Bring on my El Creamy, obviously, for a super effective match. Swimming trains muscles. Muscles launch moves. Swimmer Jacob here. Her last guy's name was uh, Logan. This guy's name was Jacob. Sounds like typical, uh, typical name for these guys. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We well, have a Coyster here, Electric and Ice Coyster. Very cool Pokemon. Gen One. It's a Gen One Pokemon. So it's an oldie. Right, there you go. Got the dang or or beetle in my inventory still. Um. Yep. Turn tips. There are times that you throw a Pokeball to catch a Pokemon, it shakes just once. The more Pokemon you catch, the more likely this curious phenomenon will, will it will it it to occur. Since that makes it more likely you'll be able to catch the target, it's called the critical chance. Shakes always oh, shakes just once and you catch it. Yeah, critical chance. We see those sometimes uh, in this game in Pokemon map and Pokemon um, go to. There's a swim expert. There are swim experts who can swim all along all the way to the Kalos region. Oh, so I guess uh, we're close to the Kalos region? Is that what's going on here? We have a berry tree here with this one person. We'll I'll skip her, I guess. Um, shake, shake, shake. We got a, a Golf, a Papa, and a Pintea. I butchered those names. I want at least five berries. Yes, two Epicon, one Wiki. Apricot, okay, so off camera I got some apricot berries and I got like more gallon berries um, And so I can show you those super super rare berries here. I guess a pin. I guess all these are rare berries, huh? I guess these three are rare. I don't know about the wiki berry, but these three berries are or a long time ago They were rare, but yeah, they um If your Pokemon are in a pinch, they will uh They will increase um What's it? They'll increase uh a uh, certain stat. So the Pintea increases special attack, Apricot increases special defense, and the Gallon is defense. So yeah, I think that actually might give him the Pokemon. Uh, strangely enough, I thought the Leech increased speed or uh, attack, but it doesn't seem like it does any in this game in particular. Um, yeah, anyways. We got this trainer here. I'm all rested up, so how about you be my opponent? Okay. Swimmer Scarlet here. A Remoraid. Ew, a memory. And Pokemon's trash. It evolved into Octillery, right? I never I never understood what Remoraid, Octillery, and Mantine 
I know Mantine. I mean, I mean Mantike evolved into Mantine. Um. Um. <laughs> sorry, the recording might have been cut off. Uh, and the reason being is because I ran out of storage on my phone, <laughs> so I had to delete some stuff. Um. But anyways, yeah, artillery got a uh, chop kicked. Or oh, she had a, a artillery that got chop kicked. Then there's your level here. Um. And yeah, so I guess the last thing I was like, I was in that video, I was talking like stupid artillery and memory. But I'm also considering about changing, um, instead of, um, see, this person had Remoraid, Mantine, and Octillery. So I have no idea where the freaking Remoraid comes into play. But I'm thinking about giving my Serena, um, the Choice Scarf and, uh, replacing the, replacing her, uh, her leftovers with the Choice Scarf. Just to make her go a little bit faster, because she is my slowest Pokemon, I believe. I'll cream is pretty slow too, but um, again, I kind of want her to be faster because she is a, a striker as opposed to a cream more of a, a defense. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I think a uh, choice scarf might be interesting on her. And down goes the man, man time. Yep. I'm a mermaid. I want to return to the ocean. Okay. So we continue here, and I guess she's off there by herself with that berry tree. I don't know if I have... Okay, well, I was gonna say, I don't know, like, uh, how big this route is, because it seems super big, Lila here. It seems super big, so I'm gonna be, like, getting lost and stuff, but, um, a Toxapax... Toxapax? Toxapex. Yeah, super defensive Pokemon. Um, but I should be able to, yeah, I mean, I should one-shot it because <laughs> I'm strong. I'm, I'm a bit strong, guys. I'm a bit strong. But she had a comment about her toxic effects earlier. Um, uh, is this the limit of water types? No, I can still come with more. We saw a shiny here. Big Pearl. I think that's the way that I need to go, so I'm going to go this other way. Okay, this is where I found like the item or TM or something. Match provide, I think it was. Um, so I think we should be done here. I think up there was um, we already we already had but uh, we already saw what was offered up there. I guess I don't know. So we'll continue down here, which I think yeah, Route Nine. Max Elixir restores the PP of all the moves in the Pokemon. Fully restores the PP of all learned moves of Pokemon. So super cool. Um, Elixirs generally they're not. Um, they are not. Uh, they're limited. Like they're limited in the amount you can get. But I believe that I just got that PP elixir from a shiny. Um, so I guess they're farmable. Anyway, we got some iceberg Pokemon's. Oh my gosh, we have a huge Jellicent just chilling. Look at that. Some more icebergs. Got a Pokeball here. Scope Lens. Um, it boosts a holder's critical hit rates, I guess. Got a shiny up here. Three dire hits. And I guess we get a cutscene. I can't enter spike moves, so I've just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge a dark type leader like this. Oh wait, Spike Muth is home of the Dark type leader. Um, was with this gate being shot. How am I supposed to beat the get the gym badge now? Hey, cause, bro, we got we got the hookups. Is that what's going on? Even a run up hill is important for people and for one who live here to something. I don't know. What's with the gate being shot? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Oh wait, so this is a gym badge, or this is a gym leader, so it's kind of bad that it's cut off, right? Because you want everyone to be able to access um, the gym. Interesting, but it looks like we're getting hookups from the, from Marnie here. So that's good. But uh, before that, we need to clear out this route. Sing, dance, let's make this party a party hall. If I dance, I shine, my phone will shine brighter too. Oh, I guess, yeah, we have both dancers here. Dance crew, Owen and um, Andrea. Whoa, look at that. 
he has a toxicity, but it's different from my toxicity. Um, I guess poison jab on the Maractus here, and then a side shock on the uh, toxicity. That should be uh, that should be good, right? Got rid of the Maractus here. Oh, it looks like their toxicity. Yeah, toxicity has two forms: it has a low key form and a high key form, or something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> and it looks like they have a high key form. Looks really cool. But uh, my toxicity <clears throat> is better because I, I don't know why it's better. It's just better. Also, I did learn something earlier today. So um, I'm going to have to do something when I get to pool. But we'll get to that when we get to that. If pool and we are mixed in too, we have an amazing vibe. Dancing is the best way to stay healthy. I agree. Got a berry tree here. We're going to shake this berry tree until it, all the berries fall. Two chopel and a one roselli. Roselli? Chopel and a roselli. Nope, that's good. I actually have no idea what those berries are. A roselli and a chop. Are those like rare berries? Oh, this is this is for sure. Oh, wait, no, these aren't rare. These are um, Sinnoh berries. Is what I call Sinnoh berries. So if, um, if you give them to a Pokemon and they're hit with a that move it resists it so it's like the opposite of a gem which is really weird um but anyways we know that there's a little thing back here we saw a shiny here you can't distract me from the shiny marnie guard spec um prevents stats reduction for five turns interesting uh, is that it here it must be it here yeah is it really it Yep, yeah, I guess. This town looks run down, by the way, Morning. I don't know. Spike Moose seems pretty poop. Oh, I'm sorry, you were born here. I shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't be making fun. <laughs> I was born here, so I know another way in. <clears throat> if you want to get in town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you'll have to beat me in a battle first. Got it? With pleasure. I probably should have healed first, but that's fine. <laughs> um, you had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. As I respect you as my rival and all that, I, I respect you as my rival and all that, but I got too much at stake uh, to go around losing now. I guess I did have a chance to heal. I could have backed off, but it's too bad now. Anyway, training around Marnie, of course, with her fans behind her cheering her on. Now, Leopard. Would I have toxicity? Yeah, I should be good. I pair up a whole lot. I'm going to beat you a lot into the group. I Okay, um, we're just gonna Thunderbolt this uh, Leopard Sucker Punch. Cheap move, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm pretty weak actually. My Pokemon are pretty low HP, but I guess my Pokemon are strong, so it doesn't really matter, right? Um, oh, Creamy Girl level here. Scrafty. What's my weakest Pokemon? Serena? Oh, actually, this is perfect because, um,. I have a, uh, well I don't actually know if U-turn is going to be super effective, but um, because I don't know if it's super effective against fighting, we'll see, I'm just going to use it. It's, it, this Pokemon is dark and fighting type, so, nope, just effective, um, I guess I'll switch to El Creamy, I guess I, I switch back to Serena, because she's only level 52, um, and of course I'm not going to use Nom, because that'd be a very bad idea. <laughs> Um, we're gonna dazzling into this crafty. That should be four times weakness, so uh, uh, no chance of living. Um, Scrafty Leopard using dark Pokemon as I see. That might or be at a good level. Fantastic. Toxic Croak, so this toxic. Um, now we'll, we'll we'll stick with the Alcrim here. Wait, can I just poison moves on um? Oh wait no, this is a uh, fighting and poison, right? So slash rock should be four times weakness. Yeah, I guess we'll just stick with our premium this battle then. Yeah, I, for some reason I thought Slashock was gonna be dark and poison, but I forgot that's drappy on those dark and poison. Um, yeah. Anyways, of course her more Piku. I expect a Marava. I really know how to get me riled up. You really know how to get me riled up. That's not what I mean. That is too fast, guys. Text too fast. 
Um, more Pico. I have no idea what type this dude is, by the way. Dark and electric. Okay, so it is a Pikachu clone. Oh yeah, so Psychic would have no effect on him. Would have had no effect on if it was actually dark. Here's my special move that I've been saying for such, for just such an equation, occasion. And to you, Spark. To you, Spark, guys. That's and more Pika Dino one. Okay, everyone has different so weak. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Well, she got annihilated. She kind of got annihilated. Let's put that. My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Uh, that's 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 very true. That's you're the first person who's actually acknowledged that you haven't really been doing anything. My partner, my Pika, actually, my Pika was fast, so it actually got sparking. Has been interested in you and your strengths, and I get it now. But I've got everyone in Smart Moon supporting me. I'm definitely gonna get all eight gym badges just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyways, I promise I'll show you the way in, so follow me. And she's running off. I guess that's why we've been getting access to this fighting jellyfish Pokemon. Because, um, jellyfish, octopus Pokemon. Because fighting is really good against her dark types. Anyways, we got Spike Moon here in. We're in. The city is pretty, um, pretty dark and dank here. But the Pokemon Center seems, uh, just as normal as ever. <laughs> I guess we're going in first because I need to heal my Pokemon. And deposit my, um, my Orbital. Not my Snom. Orbital. Yeah, so off camera, I've been trying to um, evolve. Not evolve Snom, but trying to raise his friendship. Um, because, yeah, it evolved from friendship. But anyways, remember a move. So I mentioned earlier how Toxtricity is really weird because it learns these weird moves. Like, oh, and I guess I learned this off camera. Magnetic Flux. Um, defend, uh, magnetic Field that raised Defense Special Defense of Alice with plus or minus ability. Seems kind of useless. Um, Overdrive. So it is a attack that uses sound. Um... And I forgot that my Toxtricity has the ability Pump Rock, which means that it boosts attack that uh, are sound based. And so with that, I think uh, Overdrive should do a little bit more damage than Thunderbolt. However, it doesn't paralyze, unfortunately, but it does more damage, so I guess Paralysis isn't that important. Plus, I, I do have Nuzzle, so if I ever need that Paralysis, um, it's there. And of course, we're pulling at West Her Station. Haven't even checked that yet. You don't you dare make Marnie's uh, more Piku cry, okay? Any trainer who has made all the way to Spike Move got a right wicked look to them. Well, you made it here, so I'm guessing there's nothing to be done. You better be ready to face Pierce. Pierce, that's Jim Leader. This rocking town is a is. A, has a pike a punk vibe and streets cram with shops lined with cheeks by bow what Joel jo jowl jo looks like I can't enter that it looks like I can't enter that either with the shutter closed nobody's gonna be able to challenge the gym I gotta look into this I just happen to to have many of I just haven't had many of these, so I'll, I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? Wait, you have many Pierce Lee cards? Strange. Oh, wait, welcome to Spike Moose, kid. Hope you're ready for a gym mission. Hold on, mate. We're gonna take the gym mission. You better change your uniform. Wait, is this... Are you looking for the gym leader? He's straight ahead from here. Wait, so... Spike Moose City is just the gym. It's just the gym. That's it. We got Pierce here. Interesting looking dude. Uh, Spike Moose lacks a power spot that would allow Pokemon to Dynamax, and thus not many fans come to visit the town. Pierce was responsible for allowing his town to fall into obscurity and, again, that word, dilapidation. Dilapidation. Once in battle, Pierce tends to get riled up and will often reveal his strategy early on, 
but he has the strength and skill to triumph regardless. However, his true passions are singing and songwriting, and his talents and his skill are well known. As well, he currently hopes that his younger sister will take over as gym leader. So I guess we have some lore. Pierce, Marley's brother who gave her the Morpiku. And um, he's a rock punk singer. Yo, him and uh, Roxy band duo, guys. Jim Chantry, you want to pass me, but you want to you want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. So yeah, I guess this is the, actually the gym. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Um, but we got Lenoon here. So is he dark? I'm guessing he's dark type. We're gonna see Overdrive for the first time here. Boom. Okay. <laughs> it just looks like a shockwave move or like a you know discharge move. Um. You and your phone. You and your phone broke there. So yeah, I guess Pierce is gonna be dark type. I don't wanna let you do. That's why I was waiting to squeeze to this crap. But since I lost, it's really all nothing. How are you? Once are you to step aside? Weird. Um. Yeah, again, I guess I can't go in during these doors. We'll just walk down the street here. This reminds me of a dancing pole, and it makes it makes for a cheery member of our team. Do you know the Pokemon? Do you know the Pokemon move Light Screen? I do, in fact. I'm kind of well. You can't get through no matter how hard you try. So I guess I'll walk backwards. What's this? A gym shall I made you through. Well, I, I literally just talked to you guys. All of a sudden, you and I have walked away. No, you think, don't think we'll just let you waltz through. Got Team Yell uh, Grunt here, Thiebel. The Big Fox Pokemon, guys. The big Fox. Not the Del Fox. Del Fox is. It's the real big fox, but this is just the normal big fox. Um, we use overdrive again. The was gone. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of it. I, mean, I wasn't able to probably greet you. That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon are all of you and your team. Here, go on through it. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. Okay, Mr. <laughs> Wong is like, what? I think we get through. Go right. Is that what it says? Go right. Um, we're going to use Serena now, I suppose. Look, look at those guys in the, in the windows up there. I'm yelling for no reason. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Can I surprise you? I'm gonna surprise how much my leg hurts <laughs> from that landing. But well, still, if I stand still like this for a long time, it hurts so bad, I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. I really want a double battle, guys. I don't know why all these are single battles. It would be really cool if they were double battles. Um, but it looks like this ground has a Scrafty. Similar to Marnie's here. Last time we were in the situation, I had to switch out my Serena after using U-turn. So, let's hopefully this chop kick get some work done. Good damage, good damage. Also lowers attack, which is good. Scrafty with that swagger. Always with the swagger, guys. Always with the swagger. That raised my attack, even though chop kick would kill it anyway. So, hopefully, I don't get uh, confused here. But if I do, it's, it's not the end of this world. Nope, looks like I was able to push through. Very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. What, what, what's more is there to say? I lost my leg pain, my leg pain's back. So it's a double shock. So it's a double shock. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you, you should praise me for that. All right, now that the pain's gone, I guess I better get out of here. And after battling three trainers, I'm assuming that that's it. Max revive. I'm, I'm assuming right, that's it. That the gym leader's next. 
Maybe we'll see. Let's freaking miss mine again. <laughs> yes, we're going back. HP of your Pokemon looking so good. I mean, I think the HP of my Pokemon are all safe, but wow, those, that was some that was some crazy gymnastics right there. I practiced that back handspring so much, even a pop star would get jealous of those moves. Were you surprised? Oi, we surprised you. Well, while you're in other shark, I'm, I'm gonna sneakily win this battle. Again, I think all these battles should have been double battles. I think that would have been a lot of fun. But it looks like she has a Weavile here. Very cool. It's ice and dark. Um, high, very high speed Pokemon. Weavile, that is. So we're just going to U-turn here. Because U-turn should be super effective. And I should be able to kill in one hit. Because Weavile, I'm pretty sure has really low defense. So yeah, I was able to, uh, I was able to one-shot the Weavile here. Weavile, um, I'm surprised he's Metal Claw. I thought it would be just an ice move on my, uh, my Serena there. Because the ice move would have been so effective. Huh, seriously? I'm gonna be kidding. It's all, it's over already? Wow. I see you practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills. Thanks for showing me that. I guess I'll cheer you on for now. <laughs> I guess I'll cheer you on for now on. It looks like they, wow, that, that's like actually good gymnastics right there. Um, but four battles, actually, that's a lot of battles that we had to go through for this gym. And it looks like we're at the end of the hallway. And let's switch my Pokemon. I think I'm probably going to, uh, Mega Evolution, not Mega Evolution, uh, Dyna I, I, But there's no Dynamax spot, right? Because I was thinking I was kind of going to Dynamax them. My Cinderance. Kiyo, you know, text the field. This might be our gym challenge, but I won't let you run our cool secret hangout. Alright, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Whoa. Hey, I don't have enough time to get my disguise ready. That's alright. Team Yell is actually made up of Spike Moves. Uh, Team Yell is actually made up of Spike Moves gym trainers. trainers. Whoa. Whoa. Gym trainer Joshua doesn't have. Well, look at that. <laughs> he doesn't have. Uh, he doesn't have his costume on, so it looks a bit different. <laughs> it was funny. I'm gonna finally get a double battle here. So, a uh, creamy and Serena. Uh oh, this is not a good combo because they are both. Um, uh, I guess a dazzling gleam would be super effective on a leopard, but the Drapion is scary because the Drapion is poison. Which is both super effective on my Serena and our Queenie. So we're gonna U-turn here and try to get our uh, try to get our uh, Serena out of the way here. Um, Dazzling Gleam seems to hit, which is good. Oh, gets rid of the Leopard and really damages the Drapion here. Toxicity grew level, Snom grew level, and yeah, it looks like U-turn should be able to get rid of this Drapion here. Oh, it's effective because it's a poison and bug is not a very effective like poison, I suppose. Um, but yeah, there we go. Levels everywhere, and would have been better if you just lost to us. <laughs> Did I just lose to a member of Team Yell, or was I beaten by as a gym challenger, as a gym trainer, I should say? Oh, whatever. Our gym leader's up next, but he is really strong. Got that? I mean, everyone already knows the true identity of Team Yell, right? It means I won't be. Ch I'm. It. That means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. Right. Gym leader. Oh, I guess there's some people up there. Um. Yeah, we'll uh we'll leave with Al Creamy here. Shut your gob. <clears throat> oh, Chris. Oh, I'm really sorry. A lot. A uh, lot from Spike Moves telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Mike Moves just getting worse and worse, and all Pierce says is don't worry. So, so we decide to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that increased the chance of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming our, the new champion. That's not the way to help someone at all. Cause there's no need to bother with all the preparation or whatever. Go on and face gym later. <laughs> Yo, it's a whole, it's a whole basketball court. 
Uh, I'm going to the same thing. I'm going to be giving Pierce my best yells during his battle with you. I can hear Pierce just rocking away. His Pokemon cor uh, chorus sounds pretty great too. Oh man, Mari's scolding going on forever. Go, go on forever. I don't remember when she scolded her more Pikachu for so long it practically fell asleep. <laughs> Alright then. Looks like uh, we have a... I'm looking for a Pokemon trade. How about your Obstagoon for my Cantonian Mr. Mine? Interesting. So it looks like I can get a Cantonian Mr. Mine here. We've got Sableye in the background. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. And we have Pierce Rock in it here. Yeah. He looks very pale. He looks extremely pale. And those shorts, man. Those are some, uh, those are interesting shorts. I like that. That, the hair though, that hair, wow, that, look at that hair, that's pretty interesting. So we're finally here, huh? See, um, I'm not really a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard a whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even dynamite a Pokemon. But well, I do hope you enjoyed the battle. That sounds like a very good guy. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, like no, no doubt actually sounds like a, a normal guy here. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spike Me with Pierce, the dark type user. I wanna, you want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Even though you just said you're a weak trainer. Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike me. It's time to rock. We got Pierce here. Um, gym leader Pierce. So I guess this is official gym. Different music though. Okay, okay. Different music, different music. Um, again with the Scrafty here. Everyone, cheer on my cool. Let's do this. Scrafty, intimidate the opponent. Actually, intimidates. Okay, okay. Not, not Moxie. I don't know if Moxie is a hidden ability or a normal ability, but anyway, it looks like a fake out here. Uh, interest. It, this, this is an interesting gym because again, it's not. We had Dynamax apparently. Um, different music. Different, uh, different stadium, really different, interesting. Um, Pierce, dark type. Mm hmm. I guess that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it's a gym leader, it shouldn't really be a problem because uh, none of the gym leaders so far have been a problem. Malamar here, dark and psychic. Malamar is gonna mess you up with his contrary ability. What does contrary do again? Um, dazzling game should be super effective, and in fact it is. Um, I guess we'll switch to Cinderance next for fun. Um, Obstinagu, which is what that guy wanted. I don't know what this Pokemon is, or maybe I've seen it but forgot about it. But um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Obs Obstangu Obstangu. Whoa. Uh, time to meet a member of my crew. Face the proud uh, high roar of my. That just looks like a Lanoon. Does Lanoon evolve in this game? Um, if that's the Lanoon's typing, then double kick should be super effective. Or quad quad weakness, but it seems like it's only double weakness here. Um, uh, Austin Noggin used counter. I avoided the counter. That counter would have done so much damage if I, I, uh, I avoided it, which is super good. Um, obstruct here. Obst, obstangun, obstangun. Okay. So defense partially fell. Oh, interesting. So it's like a uh, king's um king's shield, like Aegis slash his king shield, where uh, it protects but it also lowers the opponent's stat. So king shield lowers attack, I feel, and that lowers um defense. Or something like that. I think King Sword King Shield might also lower defense. Um Skunk Tank here. Well we keep battling, we keep battling. 
I don't do encores, get it? No songs, no moves, not Pokemon. No songs, no moves, no Pokemon. So we got a skunk tank here. Okay, not a Galarian skunk tank, but everyone's gonna sting. But who cares? Go skunk tank. You suck of punch and toxic. I don't think you should be shouting the moves of your Pokemon, by the way. But if you're gonna use Sucker Punch, oh well. That Sucker Punch might actually do a lot of damage, um, but, well, I mean, it, it didn't use it, so. And the Fireball one shot it. Critical hit. Okay, Cinderix, you just went all out that battle. You avoided the counter and you critical hit the last guy's Pokemon. Um, highest level was the Austin Nagoon or whatever, and it was 50, it was 48 or 46. So, some decently high levels here, which is nice, but again, not high enough. And of course I won, I mean, um, but we, we got a cool after music. Me and my team gave it our best, let's meet up for a battle again sometime. I mean, this guy seems like a pretty chill guy. This guy seems like a, like a genuinely cool and chill guy, not gonna lie. I guess we expect none less from our Marnie's brother, right? I'm glad we were able to battle, seems like we're going through the same way. Here's my huge girl dark badge. I guess he is, yes, in fact, a official gym leader. Because I was still curious up to this point, but um, yeah, seems like that is the case. You can now pack Pokemon to level 55. Here's a uniform. You actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. My little sister Marnie ain't gonna challenge me next, I bet. Uh, that was actually kind of sweet. You were watching sis? You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That's right, that reminds me Mario, there's something I want to tell you. I want I want you to take over the gym here and smack me as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the champion cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't die on Master Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. I mean, look, I don't want to ruin this here, but I mean, what, I mean, I mean like, are you really going to become champion if, you know, I just one shot like three of his Pokemon? I've, I've actually one shot like three of most people's Pokemon, and then the last Pokemon I just kill. Um, so. <laughs> uh, good point. In that case, let your big bull see if you have the skills to be a champion. Hey Claire, thanks for having an amazing battle, Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? I guess that's our symbol that she had. You seriously beat Pierce here, a TM to remember this moment. I got TM 50, uh, 85 Snarl here. Um, special, uh, it's a special move that deals all the... It deals damage to all the Pokemon and a lower special attack. And also is weak. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even a champion comes to sort things out. Oh, hey, you gave Pierce a thrashing, didn't you? You should come over and help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Wait, there's some problems going on? That even a champion? Oh, dude, I wanted to watch Marnie and Pierce the battle. Because they seem like very cool people. Kaboom. Claire, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever is making the noise, I'll see you to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your keep your eye on the goal. And for that, that's winning. And for you, that's winning a gym challenge. The only uh, gym badge left is one you'll get from the dragon gym leader, Raihan, right? Raihan's the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know. And there we go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is uh, no time for me to be stopping for a chat. A little bit of trouble here with my name on it, but don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. <laughs> I mean, things are blowing up in the background. Are you sure things are okay? Um, that that came from a ton of wind, you say? This is like, it seems I'm about to have a champion time. Um, anyways, guys, I mean, that's... I mean, that has to be it for this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. We got our 7th badge. I really thought that that ghost girl was going to be the 7th gym leader. Didn't we see a ghost girl? I swear, I saw like some masked person in the opening ceremony. Um, and I'm assuming it's a ghost girl. Um, 
But yeah, we beat a uh, Pierce here. And I'm finally get to see like the you see like the little thing here, the logo. Not necessarily dark, but I guess it's kind of like the spike mousse, um the spike mousse special. I don't know. <laughs> spike mousse special shit. You see how Marnie also is rocking that. Um but yeah. Beat him. Uh we battled Marnie, I guess, too, and we explored the rest of the Route 9. Um but yeah. I guess next time we'll see what is up with everything in that tunnel. And it will continue. Actually, next time? No, you know what? Screw that tunnel. Alright, things might be blowing up, but I need some time for myself. So next time, we are not going to um, pursue Leon in that tunnel. We're going to do random stuff. So it, uh, next time, random stuff. Thank you for watching.